Hey, one of these necks is totally different. One of these necks is not the same. Can you tell which one is different? Can you tell which one is... All right, guys, this is another episode about matchbooks, and um, we will put the Bob Log guitar aside and focus on the guitar we're working on right now, which will effectually become known as the Texas Junk Pile. It's an old arch top that I rescued out of somewhere. But anyway, let's focus on the neck area and matchbooks. Historically, there are two kinds of matchbooks or widths of matchbooks. The 20 strike and the episode matchbook of the episode. We'll, we'll do Lay's Cafe again in Kingdom City, Missouri, Greyhound bus station. I love this one. And then they're also what they call 30 strike, meaning there's 30 matches. So you can see one is definitely wider than the other. Now, the wood that we typically use for our cigar box guitars is this and it's mysteriously just as wide as a 20 strike matchbook so when we're copying these digitizing them and doing what we do this gets pretty easy um, I've given you several episodes about matchbooks and I'll give you one where's the corner it'll be up there I'm standing at a different angle I'll give you a link to an episode or at least a playlist right up there but now we start getting into these wider necks you can see that this is considerably wider so in fact they're so wide that even the 30 strike book doesn't do what we need it to do down at the widest part of the neck and so there's some digitizing to do and um, to make things wider now Again, when you start off with something that's just as wide, there's not that much to do. But say we want to put this on this neck. Up here, it's kind of close. You've still got a gap sticking out. But when we start to get down into this area, there is a big gap. Do you see that? And even more so down at the very end. It's nearly a quarter or a third needs to be wider so I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do that um, on a computer but it involves a template here all right so the first thing you're going to need is something that's got a straight edge that's long enough to get from here to here or even longer if you've got a, a very long neck with a lot of frets say 21 22 this one's a little bit shorter and you see these around all the time. Look, they're a manila folder, just a file folder. And you take one of these after you throw the other one on the ground and you open it up and you can lay it. Look at that. It's just exactly the right length. So we put it up there where the nut starts. You see up there. Oh, my trusty companion chick flick teal pointer. We lay that there, we lay it across the edge and bring it down to here. Now, what we will do is we'll find a way to fix this on here and cut it so we can end up with this. Check this out. Okay, I put that there and I can use a little bit of this blue painter's tape like so. Peel this off, roll it over put it up here and put it right at the end like so and make sure everything lines up just like that there we go you get the idea now we have something that's a template that's just as wide as our neck is and follows the width that is as it increases along the way now we're going to take the matchbooks that we want in this case matchbooks that have something to do with Texas, Texas Junk Pile, get it? And we're going to take them off of a sheet that I've scanned them on. And I've carefully used this painter's tape, like so. And I'm going to come along and line them up with one edge of the template we've made. See right there? Now you can see that there's a little bit sticking out over here. That's okay, we just march down the neck. 
like so and we want to make sure that these are organized the way we want um, this one hilltop restaurant uh, dusty hill zz top that might have something to do with what we're doing but again we just march down the neck like so and you'll notice that now on this one there's more of this sticking out that's okay here's my next one We've got a nice oil field oil well cementing casing company I'm gonna put that right there buttered up against that one Again, this one points that way, so when you're playing the guitar, it will flip up. People will see that. And then finally, well, this is a rarity. This is a 40-strike book. It's very wide in comparison to the, let me reach across the camera, this Chick Flick Teal 30-strike. But that's going to be our end one, and I want the one with the oil derricks facing the player. Now... I'll put that right at the edge like that just like the other ones now you'll notice that this one sticks out past the template so the idea here is oh and you'll notice there's a little bit left over here this the frets we're going to cut these as the frets march down and we're going to make up about that much at the end but at the end of the day we're going to see that these need to be made incrementally wider as you go down the board and we're going to do that digitally so I'm going to take this to a scanner. I'm going to take this off now. I just pick this off like so and take it to a scanner and I'm going to put it in half like so and we'll scan this side making sure that everything is lined up like so and I'll end up with two scans and then we will actually use the computer to widen these out by grabbing this part and pulling it wider or however it needs to be or narrow or whatever. And we're going to do that on a computer. So let's get to the computer. All right, guys. So we are uh, have opened the file that's on the disk. It's a scan. And you'll see that it says scan, scan one, scan two. Uh, and then so what I've done is um, first thing you want to do, I've done this over here already, is I'm going to click on the first one. I'm going to hit shift and select uh say all of these and I right click I say copy click here and then right click and I hit paste and that way I've got copies of all of these so if something happens while I'm altering some of these I don't have to worry about it later so that's a good move now let's open this one up and I'm going to show you a little problem with the original scan you see that this is off a little bit I can see that the um, uh, the folder that I cut is sticking out here and that's what I want but this is um, crooked so I want to straighten this out and I can do that digitally and not rescan so I'm going to open this up I'm going to use Microsoft Office there we go and I'm going to hit picture and I'm going to say rotate and flip and then I can do it by degree instead of doing flipping 45 at a time I can click this way or this way and you see that is moving now I want to bring it back around right there and it's nice and straight and then when I close I would just hit file save I'm not gonna save this one yeah I did uh, but there we go now when we open it up it is nice and straight so now I'm gonna open it up in um, paint um, because the, and I'm going to hit view and I'm going to hit zoom out until we can see our um, object. I know it's off to the left of your screen, but I'm going to hit home. I'm going to hit select and I'm going to click on the corner of the matchbook, come all the way down here and come across and get the extents of the matchbook. Now you can see that the manila folder is sticking out and that matchbook needs to be that wide. So I'm going to follow this down to where there's a box and I'm going to drag this out to right there and boom my matchbook is as wide as it needs to be specifically for the next so I'm going to click over here 
and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Now this is the first match, but at the top of the neck, so the manila folder sticking out is a little bit narrower, but I'm going to pull this over right in line with that, and then I'm going to close, and I'm going to save it, and then when I open it back up, you're going to be able to see that most of the vanilla fold manila folder is not um, visible anymore so these two are ready to become the first two matchbooks at the top of the neck okay now let's go down to where the neck gets progressively wider we open this one up and um it's wider there this matchbook is really wide um it must be a 40 strike or something but i like that one this is a an oil field well cementing company and we know Texas is full of oil so I can skip the part about um, um, straightening these up or whatever because they're pretty straight what I might want to do is I want to might want to open up office and hit auto correct and see if that helped us no it didn't so I'm just gonna undo that I'm gonna I'm not going to save that. And we're back to where we were. Now we're going to open up with paint, just like we did with the other one. Um, we're going to hit view, and we are going to zoom out. There we are. Um, we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to, again, select our tool, go right up to the corner. We don't want to lose any of the matchbook. And we want to pull this out until it's right to the edge there like that there's that one now there's a little bit sticking out there but that's okay uh, i think i'm going to cut this off here and then let's go to the other one so we'll pull here we need to do the opposite with this one this one's too wide so we're going to select that button and we're going to pull it in to where it matches the edge there and there we go now I close it and I hit save and boom you'll see that it automatically corrected itself there so again when I open this up I've got the lowest two where the neck is the widest that's going to be the one closest to the body this will be the next one up and this is a fairly short neck and so we have four matchbooks one two three four and the fretting will take up a little bit of space i may have to work in another one somewhere i'm going to print these up on white uh, decal paper again i don't like clear paper but white decal paper i'm going to spray them with three coats of uh, clear over the top uh, with some time to dry in between and then they'll be ready to apply to the neck all right we got everything printed up on white decal paper and we're putting our last coat of clear gloss on the matchbooks. There we go. All right, let's recap. We took a set of matchbooks, uh, 20 strikes, 140 strike, put them on a template we made out of a manila folder, and then digitally widen them or unwidened them, depending on what we needed, until we ended up with something we could scan, and then we turned those into this. Now you'll notice this one's the narrowest, wider, 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 widest going down the neck. It's that simple. Now we're gonna see these show up when we reveal the guitar, the six string Texas junk pile. So to close this out, don't forget to give me a like, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this episode, one of the largest fresh egg suppliers in the state of Texas. That's right, the Chicken Ranch out of LaGrange. See you next time.